hello glam dolls and glam gents welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to uh fix some broken nails on my client and to actually redo another set so if you want to see how i created the new beautiful set that i have stay tuned here i'm just removing the shine and the oils and all that i'm prepping the nails to get ready to repair the two nails that she actually broke this thumb has a little bit of acrylic from where her nail broke off. It still has some of that on the nail bed. So I'm just going in with my sanding band. I'm going ahead and file that down very gently. Um, my speed of my drill is not very high. And it's barely tapping her nail bed. So um, you don't have to worry about it injuring your client's nails. Just be very cautious when doing so working with the drill on your client. Because they can severely injure your client. Um, doing the service so yeah this is just going in and cleaning up that nail bed and prepping that nail for her new application okay so here we've just cleaned up the nail beds of those two nails that she broke and I'm going in now with all of the other nails because she's changing the design I'm going in I'm removing everything from off top of the rest of the nails and this is just like the rhinestones and the um the paint in the gel top coat we're just going to remove that with the e-file and we're going to proceed with her fill-ins and her new acrylic colors this hand we're going to repeat the same steps as the other hand we're going to go in and remove all of the nail paint and um top coat with the e-file and we're going to proceed with the rest of her set. Right here, I couldn't actually find my nail tool that I use to remove any rhinestones or any nail jewelry when getting ready to do a new set. So, I don't advise you to do this at home, but I grabbed the closest thing that was near me, and that was a pair of scissors that I use, and I'm just doing that away from my client's um, actual hand. I'm actually just pulling them up from that nail with the scissors. Popped off pretty easily. I didn't have too much of a problem. And right there, like I said, be very careful. You don't want to end up falling through your client's skin. So I do not advise that you 
do that at home. I don't like cutting out really the details out of my video. I like to give you my videos in real time because I like to show you my mistakes. So if you happen to make one, then you will know how to go in and correct it. So I don't want you to feel any kind of way because you see mistakes in my videos because everyone makes mistakes. It's just that those sometimes you watch the videos where they edit those mistakes out. I want to actually show you the entire process of changing out nail set, extending nails, and all of that without having that edited video. Here I'm taking my E5 again and I'm going to start taking those sides in because we're also changing her shape in this set. She's going for her stiletto pointed nails and we're going to do that starting with the E5 and then I'll actually clean those lines up with the actual hand file. after doing this with actual with the actual e file when you're going in to reshape those nails with the e file you have to be very mindful of how much pressure you apply using that e file because you can create a big dip into that nail you can remove too much acrylic from that nail and if that's not what you want to do then that can definitely be a problem for you if you're applying too much pressure with the e file whenever you're using the e file with it's on the actual nail itself extension itself or whether it's actually on the client's actual finger nail you want to make sure you need your mind for how much pressure you need on that area that's because of the shape so if I actually want to make it a square shape again or whatever shape you desire then you just want to make sure you're eyeballing how you're going to maneuver that e-file across that nail so you won't mess up because if you end up messing up with the e-file there is no fixing it with that e-file other than replacing that entire nail depending on how bad you messed up or to actually go back in and extend that nail with a nail forward. And I have a video on how to extend your nails using a nail form without having to remove any of this set. So if you're not familiar with that video, then you can actually click on that video um, and watch that one to see how it goes. Now I'm just going in with the actual hand file and I'm defining those side walls of that nail to give it a crisp clean line so you can actually start to see that.
my work area. So when I get ready to prime and dehydrate her nails, I don't leave any of that part of those particles behind on the nail because that will cause lifting and um, all of that with your acrylic application. So yeah, I just went in and dust that off with just you can use a makeup brush or whatever kind of dust that you have and just remove all of that from the nail bed. I went into those two fingers where she broke and I went in and prepped and primed with the nail nail. That was a nail dehydrator. And I'm gonna go in with the Young Nails Protein Bond Nail Primer and we're gonna use that on both of the nails and then proceed into the actual product application. So here as I say in this video you'll see me have a little trial and error and right now what I'm actually doing that I never do is I actually apply the nail dehydrator and the primer before I add the nail tip. That's a no-no for me. That's something I don't do. I'm not sure if anybody else does it. That's just something I don't prefer to do. And I do my set. I like to put the nail tip on first, then add my dehydrator for the nail bed, and then apply my primer. But in this case, you saw where I actually did both before then. And you'll see me go back in once I actually add the add tip, add the tip on and you'll see me prep the nail again with the dehydrator and the actual prime. Here I'm just going in with the nail glue, adding it to the tips, and I'm really having some trouble with this bottle. This is my nail glue from Email Couture. This is some very strong hold glue. It holds within the first couple of seconds, and I really do love that about the glue. But it's times when it really takes up and clumps up in that top, and I can't get it open, so I had to actually take something and puncture it down in the middle for it to open up. But yeah, here I'm just applying the nail to it. I'm holding it on for a few seconds, and it'll actually apply. I actually don't have enough glue on it. But I put more glue on it. I don't know what it was about this particular nail, but it would not stay down. And then on top of that, when I got ready to release it after it set, it got stuck to my finger, so I had to kind of maneuver my finger to get that off of there without pulling the tip back off. Yeah, this glue, it really does pretty bad after sitting for a while in the containers, but I actually love the glue. It really has a strong thumb hold, but besides those minor things, fighting at the top once you're trying to open it again and um, and I think you being that I put a big old hole in it because it had uh, glued itself shut I think when I actually put the glue on it it ran down the inside of that nail and actually stuck to my hand once I grabbed it to hold that tip down but yeah once that nail is on I just went back over that spot where the glue was still on the nail and I just kind of etched all that off so that the acrylic would have a smooth surface to um, adhere to. And then I went back in with the um, dehydrator primer gel on each of those nails once I put those tips on because I was not supposed to do that in the beginning. Okay, this 
breaking and you'll get to see why I go in with the action tips and I'll go in and create my skillet on there and just see me cut the sides off and you'll see me shape it into that shape. But right now I'm just cutting down to about the nip that they already are. And I'm gonna take those scissors and you'll see me cut that nail on the ankle. And I'll kinda eyeball it until I get that angle directly in the center. And then I'll go into the next nail. And this is how I actually cut my stiletto tips when doing my nails. If I don't have the pre-shaped tips already, this is actually how I go in and do that. Alright, when you're getting ready to actually shape and clean that nail up, you want to make sure that you are grabbing your client's hand properly. You want to make sure your finger placement and your client's finger placement is comfortable for both people. You want to make sure you have a firm, taut grip on that fingernail so that when you're filing it, it doesn't snatch your nail plate, your nail band, and it doesn't snatch your finger in any awkward position that's uncomfortable for them. So just keep that in mind. Control how you grab the client's nail and how you actually follow the machine. Okay, I'm using one of my favorite nail supplies. This is Luxury Nail Supplies. This is the Pure Yellow. This is the Coral. And I'm also using her color in Jet, which is a black. And I'm using Young Nail Clear Speed Acrylic. This is pretty much a freestyle set. So, um, I'm just kind of going to go with the flow with the colors and add them as I go. I'm just going to create something um, non-uniform and then I'm going to go in with some chrome powder and cover each nail in the chrome powder and you'll get to see all of that finished up. Just stay tuned. On those two nails that I repaired, I'm just going in with a thin layer of clear acrylic and applying that to the nail bed. Whenever you're using colored acrylics, some of them are very pigmented where they actually stain your nail bed. And I don't want that to end up happening with these acrylics, so I lay down a thin layer of clear acrylic before applying that. Here you can see me applying that beautiful acrylic called Jet. It's black and it has beautiful black glitter crystals inside of it. Crystal flakes or whatever is inside of it. It's very sparkly, very pretty. I'm not sure if you can see that. I really like the feel that I'm getting to. Right here, I'm just going to clear the ombre nail, doing it three colors. Here, I'm going in with this beautiful color coral. When doing ombres, it's important to let the color that you're applying second to sit for a few moments so that it can harden just slightly before you start trying to transition that color into the next color.
that yellow blue for everything and every transition looks pretty smooth. I'm just gonna go in with that Young Nail Speed Clear Acrylic and encapsulate the entire nail. She is currently working on that, but she goes by the name of Junari Santiago on Facebook. She is a very reputable um, nail wholesaler and all of that. She has everything that pertains to nails, so she has starter sets, acrylic, just she has the works. But like I said, her name of her products stands by the quality of her products. She has great customer service. I have never ran into an issue with any of her items. She also has monomers and I, in this video, I'm actually using, um, I think I'm actually using her bubblegum model. I'm not sure, but I think I'm using that bubblegum monomer in this video. And like I said, y'all, this, this acrylic is amazing. It's pigmented, it's smooth. It's, it's everything that could look so yeah, like I said, y'all go check her out on Facebook. Her name is Janari Santiago. Uh, her product line is called Love Your Nail Supplies, and you won't be disappointed with that. So yeah, I'm just going with that same coral color and add it to the other fingers as well. And I think on one of my videos, yellow tip along with that pink for ombre nail. So y'all just stay tuned for that. But yeah, y'all, this is, oh my gosh, look at Look how pretty that is.
come with that particular nail, it's like film because that pink is so pretty. So if I did a whole entire set with that pink alone, that would be that would be the one. Like this pink is something, this coral is something. taking that file out I'm tapping on each nail if you hear a clicking sound that means that nail is ready to be filed and buff so if you hear a clicking hard clicking sound then that means it's ready if you can't really hear the clicking then that means that nail needs to set a little more but yeah I'm just gonna go in and clean up all of those nails and such and we're gonna get in 
finish up the final touches on filing these and buffing them out smoothly before I apply my top coat.
and then I'll go back and start applying the chrome powder. the holographic chrome again so I just have to repeat the step over but I'm going to go ahead and go into the next hand and complete these fingers first before I do that
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and complete all of these fingers with the top coat. I'm gonna fix that thumb that I showed you that needed fixing. Thank you all for watching my channel.